Hi. So today I was having a conversation with a business associate of mine and she was asking me to do a profile of my ideal client. And I was just laying out to her very, very clearly that it's someone who really wants to improve and not just improve as in a little bit, but really wants to grow, develop their life, their business, their relationships um, in a meaningful way, in a way that truly brings them a sense of consciously creating success and even beyond that, enjoying their lives. You know, if you're not enjoying your life and you're not conscious of how you as a unique individual create success, then you're missing out on one of the two fundamental or two of the fun most fundamental parts of living life. And I was talking about this as a client who really wants to make their life work better, the way it works for them, and really experience success. And she said to me, being rather dramatic, she said, well, what if you had a lady who's got a lot of money? Oh, yeah, and I said they need to be able to spend the time and have the energy to do it and be able to afford the work that I do because the very best work I do happens over time. It's not a one-off consultation or a one-off situation where I just come along and shine a light and then head for the hills. You know, the best work I do, just like anything organic and real in life, anything that's truly practical, takes, takes time to evolve and to develop and for people to grow into. And she said, so what if you had a lady who'd lost her husband, lost everything that was meaningful in her life, but she had a ton of money, and she said she was grieving, and she obviously would be, and wanted you to help her find some purpose, put her life back together, do this, do that, you know, do the sort of things that would be really appropriate in that situation. And I sort of backed off for a moment going, well, yeah, there's various levels of that. People who just want a shoulder to cry on and people who really now have realised that there's something profoundly changed in their lives and they want to move on. And, you know, like my mother did when my father passed away, she lived another 13 years in her life and lived, a, you know, they were together for 49 years, but she lived 13 really good years and, you know, had her life and then passed away as well. So I was pulling back a bit and then out of the blue, it just struck me. We're all in that situation at this point in history, all of us. No, I don't want to just be dramatic, but... The past as we've known it, life as we've known it, and I'm not just talking about alternative people. The way that we've lived in the world till now is over. It's finished. The past is dead. And on one level or another, whether we're conscious of it or not, we're letting go of and grieving, you know, what we used to live in. And we're now on the edge of something completely new. And the beautiful thing about that, the thing that I'm very conscious of, is so much of the struggle, the pain, the difficulty, the lack of enjoyment, and you know, the lack of success for the vast majority of the people in this world for the last tens of thousands of years. That's over. It hasn't all gone and, you know, now, oh, the whole world's perfect. No. But the need for that, the purpose of that, it's done. We're over it. And as I've said before, a lot of the alternative stuff is over too. You know, we're now at a place where all of us need to come together and create something that works in the real world. 
whether that's coming from, you know, let's make money perspective or I want to have a great family perspective or I want to build a true business and contribute to the world or whether you've got spiritual motivation for doing that or sports achievement that you want to do. The past is over. It's done. And we've all got, we're now more conscious of the resources that we've got. And through the internet and all the other systems that are going on in the world, we have the ability to access the resources within one or two generations max. I've seen it happen where I live, in my own family here, coming out of the mountains and now being in, within two generations, becoming global citizens. You know, this world is changing. And if you're really serious about making that change real for you in your life, in your business, with the teams of people that you work with, in your relationships, in everything that you do in this physical world, if you want to see this world become a better place for you, and the way you go about operating and doing things in the world. If you want to fi find the way to do that where 95% of the struggle and the drama is just no longer necessary. If you really want to improve your life, take a great business and make it exceptional. Take a good relationship or no relationship and create a good relationship and then take that to become a great relationship and then something exceptional. In sports training, in just the way you live your life, in giving yourself the freedom to truly be yourself. If you're at that point where you've got that amount of courage, you know, you're willing to get it wrong on the way to getting it right, but you are no longer willing to live a life that does not reflect who you truly are. And then you want to, don't translate that into idealism or mental concepts or living in a fantasy world, but really bring it into your everyday practical life so that you enjoy being alive as a human being and you create things that are appropriate to you that truly express your gifts. And then you build a business or anything, a community in your life that really does fulfill you and in the process contributes to the world. If you want to bring peace into your world or satisfaction and truly experience success, as I said before, that's what I do. That's what I'm really good at working with. 68 years I've been working, I've been preparing for this and doing this for decades now using various approaches, but not stuck in any one of them, but using them where they're appropriate. And as my father used to say, there's no substitute for experience. And I've had a lot of experience. So if that's right for you, if that's where you want to go, if you want to find what's exceptional within you, not because rah, 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 and that's going to prove anything, to anybody, but because it will fulfill you as a human being and contribute something meaningful to the people and the world around you, then get in touch because that's the sort of client I need. You know, all the other, you know, willingness to go into that place and find that for yourself and to take the time and to put the energy into it and to contribute to me so I can contribute to you where there's a real exchange, you know, not some saviour or anything like that. There's a real, honest, practical exchange. Every single client I work with transforms me, takes me to a new level, particularly in the programs I'm working with now, where we really take our time. If you want to deal with finances in your life in a way that's meaningful and fulfilling and that actually works for you. That's the sort of thing 
I can do and the team of people that I work with. I can draw upon them when they're appropriate. If you want to create fantastic teams, I can bring in a fantastic team to work with you to do that. So that's the sort of client I'm looking for. But just realise we are in the world and everything is changing, everything is different now. And you need to be willing to grow into that with that sense of discovery and adventure. Because that's what's needed now. Not conquering, you know, not keeping things together, you know, the way they were in the last 20 or 30 years or the way they were forever, but taking the very best of that, the common sense and taking it to a new level. That's where I can help you. So contact me wherever you see this video, there'll be information there. And I'll, you know, if that's right for you, then it would be my honour and my pleasure and my absolute delight to really help you in your life take everything to that level that I love the word exceptional, you know, to bring out the very best in you and your life. I'll talk to you soon.